Hi guys, welcome to Chitwine National Park in Nepal. My name is Matt and I'm currently two months into a lap of the world. Chitwine National Park is a special place to visit in Nepal. You can see and get up close to heaps of different types of wildlife including crocodiles, elephants, rhinos and even Bengali tigers. This video will show you what you can experience in Chitwine on a two night stay. Enjoy. We took the standard tourist bus from Kathmandu for 10 US dollars. It was slightly uncomfortable at times, but overall pretty cruisy. We arrived in Saurana and took a tuk-tuk for 200 rupees to the budget-friendly and super vibey Happy Lemon Tree Lodge, and we were instantly blown away. Our host, Dharmic, was a legend. He helped us pick and organize our activities and even organized a short welcome walk, which was tip-based for everyone who checked in that day. Great customer service. After an amazing first night, we got up early to start our tour. We opted for a two hour sunrise canoe trip to take us deep into the national park before spending the next seven hours on foot looking for wildlife. This tour cost us 95 Aussie dollars and we'll share our honest opinion of the tour at the end of the video. One thing to remember is that this is a close encounter tour. The rhinos, elephants and tigers roam this park freely. So we had no control over how close or how far we came to them. It was a total surprise. Just like when we floated around the corner to find this rhino crawling in the river. I wonder who was more surprised. The rhino wouldn't have been more than 10 feet from us. Incredible. After docking upstream, we began our jungle trek. It was a long day of hiking from vantage point to vantage point along four-wheel drive tracks. One thing to note is Chitwan in September is hot like a furnace. The National Park is one of the lowest altitude points of Nepal and is super humid. While we were there, the temperatures consistently read 34 degrees but feeling like 44 degrees. We both took three litres of water each, wore long sleeve and long pants to protect us from the sun and mosquitoes. It's super important to understand what you've signed up for before going because once you're in, the only way out is on foot. This also applies if an aggressive animal takes an interest in you. Your only options are to run, hide or climb a tree. Be alert and be physically fit. Yeah, we are waiting to see a rhino. Or a tiger. Or a wild elephant. Any animal. <laughs> Probably we'll just see a few bugs. One time. <laughs> it, it tastes like curry. Yeah. Yeah. Like this. First one time. This point in the video seems like a good time for an honest review of the jungle trek. To this point you'll notice that not many animals had actually been spotted since hopping out of the canoe. This is mostly due to the size of the grass, making it hard for us to spot animals. There are plenty of animals around, which is evident by how many you see that come down to the water and how many footprints are around the place. This clip shows where a tiger had recently marked their territory. Insane that we were just out there looking for it. Sometimes they do drop their urine, right, as well as they escape. This is his or her territory. Mm -hmm. or as well as sometimes they do scratch along the tree trunk. Yeah. Our advice would be to, if possible, time your trek for a time of the year where the grass is lower. Aim for around February or March. We were getting a bit disheartened towards the end of the day at around 4pm having not seen many animals despite our best efforts and the best efforts of our guides who were actually legends. However, all that changed at the final viewpoint. We were given a hot tip from another group that there were two rhinos bathing in a pond nearby. So we thought, Let's go, let's go have a look. At this point, the rain had started, so we had to put our cameras away. So you're gonna have to use your imagination. We got to the pond and we were wrapped to find two 
pretty big rhinos just floating around, cooling off um, in the pond. We were admiring, in a, a group of about 10 of us, we were admiring from the shoreline for maybe five to 10 minutes before one of us looked to the left and couldn't believe that there was a giant rhino on the land just staring at us um, about 10 meters away. Half the group ran, including me and one of the guides, before we eventually gathered ourselves and stopped and went back and had a look um, and admired absolutely incredible creature. This close encounter made the whole day worth it. Now, I loved visiting Chitwan National Park, so if trekking is not your thing, I think or you're a bit worried about not seeing any of the animals, I would have been happy to just stay at the lodge all day and watch the animals that come to the shoreline from there. It's absolutely, it's, it's an absolutely beautiful place. Or simply just take a canoe trip in the morning. You would have an amazing experience either way.